we're making a bland today. A whey-based mead. I'm using two and a half pounds of honey, four liters of whey, half a teaspoon of yeast energizer, half a teaspoon of yeast nutrients, and about 150 mils of tea steeped for three to five minutes to provide some tannin. That's one of the first things I'm going to do. Get some hot water, drop a tea bag in it. And then I'm going to add that to my demijohn. about two liters of the whey. In this case, it was whey from a Vecino Romano. So I add about two liters. I don't want to fill it up because I want to do a little bit of agitation. I also take the honey and put it in some really warm water for about an hour before I do this, so it pours really easy. Ended up with 1.16 kilograms, just a smidge over the 1.14, two and a half pound mark I was shooting for. Here's half a teaspoon of yeast energizer. Get that in. and half a teaspoon of yeast nutrients. Now I'm going to do a two-stage feeding on this in about two and a half, three weeks. I'll add in another half teaspoon of each of those. This is a bit of a staggered feed. I'm going to cork the jug and shake it for about a minute to two. Lots of aeration because yeast likes some oxygen. Make sure everything's shaken up and evenly dispersed through the liquid. All shaken up. Now this actually took longer than the time here. I cut out a little bit. And even though I pre-strained the whey when I was making the cheese, I'm still going to use a cheesecloth when I pour it in here as I did the first time just to make sure nothing unwanted gets through there. Anyway, add the rest in. Going to fill it right to the shoulder. Don't want to go too much higher than that because I want to leave some little room for the fermentation just in case it's really active. Approach in the shoulder. Toss in our Lavalin D47 yeast with an alcohol tolerance around 14%. Now I'm just going to let that hydrate on top. And uh, just before that, I uh, took a little sample of this and we're coming out with a specific gravity of 1.145 and pH of around 5.9. So there we go. Everything's in. Cap it up. Fit it with a bung and an airlock. And cover that up so it's protected from the light. And let's see what this is like in 24 hours. 24 hours later, we got some bubbles. Fermentation has kicked off. I gotta admit, color's really nice on this. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be milky. A bland. Who knew?